G'day guys, Jeff again. This is the second half. I'm going to replay some of the footage of the of previously. It's Rush on Arika Harbour. And uh, I believe we were just about to take the uh, Alpha Station here. I was dropping a mortar strike on the back because there could be a potential mobile spawn point. And at the same time, I am going to throw out um, some motion sensor devices at the front and rear of Alpha just protect my teammate who called out that he was going for the plant. So that was an easy takedown and there's no reason to wait for it. Uh, the enemy team didn't really rush it either because we had pushed them back to their spawn. But here you can see that they uh, want a bit of action even though the alpha spawn has been taken. And that's a great shot. <laughs> I uh, really like the uh, physics of the bodies that fly through the air when you shoot them in this game or when you blow up vehicles and see, pu see people fly out of helicopters and as a dead and uh, flailing body it's pretty interesting now uh, skip forward to the tank here because my teammate his owner came down and picked me up and uh, as a recon there's no reason why he can't come in as the second gunner uh, because his owner is an engineer I believe uh, preferentially though you'd want the uh, light machine gun to be a gunner however I think it's easier for the person manning the machine gun in the tank to take down uh, any oncoming engineers or other people who want to drop C4 for, or, for instance um, because the turret can actually swivel quicker um, you can still spot so you know I generally like to spot and then shoot even though I haven't done it um, at the moment here but I am using the zoom function quite a lot and uh, my goal now that we can see the station clearly is I can protect the plant from this distance um, now if you're on the defending team, you want to get an engineer to the tank or a number of engineers to the tank immediately for the disarm, but it has to be really coordinated when you've got a uh, an open wall showing to the station. And as you can see there, it was a very easy takedown. And this is where spotting works as well. So let's skip to some new action. Uh, we just rounded the corner in the tank. Don't know what I'm shooting at here, but I get a kill. Uh, the replay screen I'm uh, watching to commentate this is actually very small but uh, I must have caught wind of an enemy down there because I saw that I got a kill I believe uh, Azona shot the exploding crate as well because they do damage tanks uh, they do take health away if uh, someone on the opposing team shoots it so that's actually a good tip if uh, a tanks nearby something explosive shoot the explosive object Hopped down the tank and ran across the map. I want to get a line of sight to the station. Now, even though I am taking shots here, uh, my goal is to spot people because uh, mortar strikes cannot take this building down. Well, I've never been able to successfully do it. Tanks cannot take it down. And again, I've never been successful in doing it. I do want to get some private matches going and open up some maps and just try certain things or certain structures because uh, it is sometimes a lot easier to use vehicles to take down the roof of the station to move on. See, only getting spot assist here, but I am doing my job. Another thing as well that a lot of people forget is that you might want to um, look at the station and then press your orders or your spotting uh, button because that will allow you to uh, also get points if your squad does something to that station. And just there I sped it up, but I ran back to the UAV because I thought it would be available on the spawn. Um, the vehicles and the UAV spawn quite quickly in this system, so do emplacements if you destroy the emplacement. And I think uh, something about that's coming up shortly. But uh, here it is, an enemy person actually gets onto the heavy machine gun. Now I'm not going to do this ever again, but the mortar strike's not going to do anything to that station. The RPG, any guided rockets, you know, grenades or a sniper who can get a line of sight to the uh, body of the heavy machine gun user um, from side on that's the best way to take them out. You can't take them out from a front on sniper when they've got that shield in front of them. Seems to be a lot of smoke at the moment. That might be an example of a smoke grenade, I'm not sure. I won't rewind it, but uh, it could be. So as you'll notice as well is that when I'm in a fixed position, I actually move my thumb to the spot button or the select button on the PlayStation back on Xbox so that I can spot and shoot because if I miss I can track them if they're running away or only get one shot on them um, I also don't go for headshots if I've already hit them once to the body because the second shot will take them down 
Um, so there's a, you know, it's fine to actually just track where that person's going to take the shot to get the body shot, the leg shot, whatever. I missed the guy there. Nice jump by him. I don't think he pulled out his parachute though. So I didn't burn a shot in this, but I uh, know the range. Uh, I didn't show you that I burned a shot, but I watched the drop on a shot that I missed previously, and uh, that's the same as uh, burning a shot. You know, I take the shot I miss, I see where the tracer goes or where the bullet drops to, and uh, then I have enough information to make the headshots. So still doing uh, recon here, trying to spot people. And if I recall correctly, because our team's actually in the building, I start to move out a little bit because I know that they can spawn at the back end there, and especially near that green uh, double shed. And uh, I spot out just to try to spot a few people. Don't make the kill, but we've got enough people in Bravo that I think we're going to be pretty successful here. And bringing in a mortar strike is uh, probably also not necessary, but I do it anyway. And. Uh, I don't think the mortar strike works on that building, um, to be honest. You can take out the walls with the tank, but I don't think it takes out the roof. Still trying to spot a few people. Bravo is destroyed. And uh, we win the rush. So anyway guys, let me know about the format for how I brought it to you. Hopefully it's better than speeding it up and having high pitched sounds and other things like that. Anyway guys, end up with a 39 to 5. Uh, that's pretty damn good for Battlefield in my opinion. Uh, got a lot of pins out of it as well. As we go through the pins, uh, I'll flick it over to the scoreboard, and this is what I like to see. A team of three owning the scoreboard. Anyway guys, till next time, see ya.